Hello and welcome. This is a continuation of the ancestral line clearing, utilizing frequency currents, energy, light language as a experience for you to clear and harmonize the father's line third eye. If you've been following along with this series, I encourage you to start at the base and move through each of the chakras. If you are looking to find the same experience for the mother's line, those will be available on the Cosmic Library. The sound frequencies that you'll be listening to are specifically tuned to the third eye. This is my third eye chakra rebalancing frequency track that I've composed using crystal bowls, chimes, channeled energy. So as we go into this process, allow yourself to Spend the next few moments tuning into how your third eye feels in this present moment. Maybe how it's felt your whole life. Your psychic gifts, your intuition, even your belief structures. I do feel like the third eye and crown bleed into each other's archetypal makeup. So just tuning in to how does it feel down your father's line knowing your father or even not knowing your father. Just tuning into how the energy sits within your third eye, your mind. And as I tune into the energy and before we get started, I'd like you to just set your own intention to release, dislodge, unplug, create coherence down the paternal line. And as you're doing this, finding a comfortable space for you to lay, for you to sit down and taking in some slow, long, deep breaths in through the nose. And on the exhale, making an audible signaling your body that it is time to slow down tune into the current stream of energy that you are in within your own vibrational makeup. Taking in another deep breath right down through the throat and breathing the energy right down. Imagining that you can breathe out through the base chakra, breathing out through the bottom of the body. And as you continue some long cycles of breath right down through the central energy channel. Relaxing your muscles as we go further down into a state of relaxation. I'm going to set sacred space now. I call in any being of the purest light resonance, working, supporting, assisting anybody who is tuning in to this encoded soundtrack. I call in Archangel Michael, Saint Germain of the Violet Flame, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Green Tara, Kuraya Toto Susuriya Tananiye. Call on any and all high frequency beings that can join and merge their frequency with mine and with the one who is listening. Call on all ascended masters, archangels, any and all galactic beings of the purest light and resonance. Asking everybody to please be upgraded to their highest vibrational light force energy. (laughs) 
curraria to su 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 ria ta ti anana ni ra to to su ye te shi a ya to 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 ti ki a ta ta ki a siri kyo. So I'm just going to open up a high frequency portal of light above the crown. Just connecting in to your frequency now, to your energy field. Chiara, asi, asi, ato, su, 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 ri, ata, ta, ti, ata, to, to, su, ri, ka, ti, ka, ti, su, ri, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, ti, si, ata, to, to, su, ri, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, to, su, ri, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, ta, ti, ka, ta, ti, si, re, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, ti, ka, ti, si, re, ka, to, ko, ri, ka, ti, ka, ti, si, ka. So I'm gonna open up a tube of light. I'm just going to take our frequencies and our energy into a chamber of healing light. Kia, su, su, ri, ata, ta, ti, ki, ata, su, 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 ri, ata, ta, ki, ata, to, su, ri, ka. I ask to enter now the 8th dimensional healing temple of light, calling in all masters that work with the ancestral line. Kyaro to suri ati ananaye to koye. And I'm just laying your energy body down. You might like to feel, sense, know, see an energetic table. Kurati ata to sutu sutu suri ati kya. Looks like a temple with a table in the very center point. Kurariato su suriate niayato koye shati ayato su suriati. And immediately as I tune into the field, to the frequencies, they're showing me words. Um, it feels actually quite heavy, quite stagnant. Um, the words disappointment, kya ata sort of misunderstood, misunderstanding, misaligned, kya roto riana nania tata ki congested, kya roso tu su kushu to uye. So before we go deeper into the third eye template for the father's lineage, we're going to do a clearing of the outskirts of the field and a beautiful blue avian being is stepping forward. And we're going to just create an energetic cocoon around the outskirts of your field, the outlining, channeling a pure high frequency blue white light sealing in your whole energy field now. They're saying a lot of expectation, a lot of pressure, a lot of prejudice, a lot of incoherent beliefs and structures around how one should be, present, think, feel, know, behave, have been intrinsically passed down through the family lines. For many of the beings resonating in, in training to these encapsulations of energies, these sound transmissions, the projections of the previous generations are at an odds end, at a mismatch alignment, for it was never meant to be that their ways were settling into your field like a perfect match. There is a disruption throughout the last, they're saying three generations, but Everybody is different in their frequency and their core central coding. There is always meant to be the shake up, the activators, the 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 change makers. So unfortunately, they're showing me many beings have negative self perceptions around who they are, around their sense of self and safety kind of who they their father wanted them to be so if this resonates with you and even if it doesn't just allow i'm just going to start to clear opening a high frequency portal of light at the top of your energy field and I ask now to begin to release, resolve, dissolve any and all negative projections and any and all negative self-identities that have been derived through the father's line, the perspective of the father. Okay. 
ke ate sia ya to ku ya nana ya ta aisho yo to osi ate sire ya to sire ke tata ka ti sire ke 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 that energy is just lifting up and out of the field it just looks like a layer of smog a layer of dark matter doing a mini clearing around the heart now it's like the grief or sadness of being misunderstood for such a long time and the masking of pretending who you are to fit the ideologies and understandings of another. I set the intention to open up the quantum field. I call in all ascended masters to please open up a higher frequency channel of light to begin to clear. So I'm just taking that right up and out of the field. What they're saying to me is even the paternal first, second generation back didn't want to experience this either. So it's not even necessarily a projection of them where you might see their face and feel, mm, you did this to me. It's actually an unhappiness, a disconnection that has been passed down through the line because of societal structures, because of systems, because of... They're saying because of a lot of things actually. So if you would like to release your dad of any judgments that you hold or the father's line around these said projections, I'm just going to bring down a high frequency white channel of light over your totality of your field, magnetically drawing up. They're saying harboring these resentments and judgments at time, even unconsciously embedded, can create a weight within your field, your frequency, leaving a bad taste in your mouth. So setting the intention to free, release, dissolve, return out of the system and back into full God source light calling on Christed energetic consciousness to take up any and all judgments of the father of the father's line. Okay. Okay, that energy is just lifting up and out of the field. I'm going to accentuate the portal of light above your crown, asking for a God source light, golden light opening, golden green light opening like a very large portal above your energy field. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Okay, wonderful. 
wonderful. So we're going to call on Kya Arasarika I call an Arcturian frequency, Arcturian consciousness, Arcturian medic team. I call on any and all beings that wish to step forward to begin clearing the template of the third eye, any and all blocks that inhibit, that reduce, that deduct, that transmit opposing vibrational forces against the use of psychic senses, against the clairvoyance, the intuition, and in all limiting beliefs, and in all memories of hurt, of pain that have been encapsulated from the father's line, clearing now from the third eye, and in all density or debris that inhibits the pineal gland and they're showing it to me like a tube a tube with a core crystal inside of it and the energy inside is just spinning like a <laughs> Density and you know, debris from the third eye now. <laughs> and I ask Saint Germain or any and all beings to please step forward and clear down the father's line where appropriate and possible as it goes to all higher consciousness beings involved I'm just projecting up higher now and calling on the purest white light of transmutation, of clearing, of rebalancing, of harmonizing the third eye structures. <laughs> You might feel a bit of pressure in the third eye as this new wave of light, this clearing, is coming down into the third eye, releasing decay, depravity, connections to archaic ideas, connections to lower vibrational thoughts, consciousness as beings. Releasing the shackles of enslavement within the mind. Going quite deep with this one. Kyato soto 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 soti atia na na ni si ato ko yati ayeto shoto to 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 kyat sirega de kaya. Okay. I'm gonna release a little bit of pressure from the crowns. I'm gonna just draw in a pure channel of high frequency white light going down through the crown and just opening up to possibilities of multidimensional consciousness, opening up to the more possibilities of universal truths that can replace these templates, calling on any and all activations for the third eye for this one specifically listening, calling on all higher selves to please step forward and begin to imbue and embed currents that can harmonize and create coherence to the highest degree that their physical body can handle at this time. Thank you. 
Kia ato so ori ata ti se ti ke shuto to so to 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 ti a ti ka ti se re ki ata si ata ta ta ti se re to ti se re ki ti se re ki ti se re ki. The thing what they must understand there is a wealth of information, knowledge, feeling, senses within. It is about exploring and allowing the depths of these aspects of you to come back online to return. Kia ata si re ki ti se re ki. A fear of being different is necessary. Kia ta to release. Kia ta sor o shara ti se re ki ti se re ki ti ki ta se re ki ti ki ki ta se re ki ti ki. I'm asking um, pure, unconditional, pink and violet light now. I'm just going to run that down through. Calling on all codes of safety. Calling on all codes of coherence. Calling on all codes of unconditional love that is necessary to replace the energy that is being cleared today. They're saying space has been made within this template for you to choose which aspects of you, which beliefs, which structures, which ideas would like to take up residency in your template, your construction now. So just showing me pure gold and light. Kia rato su ti si a ya ta ti a na 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 so I'm just running, calling on your higher self to help choose how you would like to fill up the space. They're saying it does not need to be done all at once. Allow yourself just as you move into a new home, they say you don't buy the full furniture all at once. Get to sit again. It is about an evolution and involvement and advancement and integration as you move through the phases of your awakening. Understand that ideas and beliefs that you have had that no longer serve you simply are able to fall away and be replaced with what makes more sense for you at this time. You do not need to have the answer to everything all at once. You do not need to activate your gifts all at once. Get that, they get it. It is a process of becoming. Get that, they get They're saying we see you are all very excited and eager. Get that, reminding you that the portal of the heart, the vessel of the heart is just equally as viable and valid as a space for your psychic senses to shine, to be born, as well as the necessity to ground them throughout the remaining archetypal structures of your body, your chakra templates. So I'm just running all of that light now through all codes, all activations, and I'm just going to weave that down the central energy channel, just very beautiful light coming down through the crown, third eye. Coming into the high heart. A self assurance, a self connection, a self understanding, a sense of freedom to be whoever you want to be at any moment of the day, returning to your body now. Codes of liberation, energies of facilitation and change. Moving that down through the central energy channel now. Feel 
Feel that energy gently grounding down now. Kurato to nie kiaye. We're grounding all of the third eye work down through the body now, gently. Smoothing down, breathing right down. And just sealing off your whole energetic field. Calling on God Source Light, gold and frequencies of God Source Light. Okay, I'm going one layer further out from your field. It's like an impenetrable force of <laughs> force field of light. Okay, they're saying for many beings it is appropriate to remain in this energetic current for as long as you need, listening to these frequencies, spending time with your soul family. Feel us in your heart. Beautiful. So I'm just going to disconnect my energy from the field. Coming back if you would like to or allowing yourself to bathe in the resonance of these frequencies. If you need any help clearing, activating your third eye, working on the father's line to a deeper degree, feel free to reach out for a one-on-one -on -one with me. And you can find the mother's section on the cosmic library as well as a little taste of all of the other activations that I've created for May's light language transmissions. Sending all my love, Katie.